Welcome back here at Shaman Movies with Real Talk Nola. Let's talk about Battleship, the board game. Oh, wait, not the board game, the movie. Hey, you know what? I'm glad you started with the joke because I gotta be serious here. I have to apologize. Last week, I gave this flat out red. Forget this exists, forget it ever happened. I couldn't have beat this movie down more. Unless it You'd was be like a redheaded stepchild. Yeah, like it would literally have to be personified into a person for me to pummel into the ground yeah. to have beat it up more. And you know what? The writers and the, the crew, I'm not giving any credit to the cast here because Rihanna was terrible and so was, <laughs> so was John Carter, but um, the, the crew and the writers, talk about making something out of nothing. Like they, they input a lot of lore. I mean, we were talking about this with the pegs, yeah. which I'm going to let you talk about, yeah. but like, you know, the, uh, the island hopping thing, they, they gave this substance. And yeah. I, the audience that I saw it with, was completely engaged. They were totally into the movie. Like, right. I mean, I had some problems with little things here and there that we'll, we'll get into once we get into the in-depth review, but I gotta take it back. And I'm gonna go ahead and just give my thing right now. Go see a matinee. It was worth it. It was an enjoyable What'd you experience. give it last time? I gave it red. So, so red are, to matinee. Yeah, that's a jump. I think that's, a, I, you know what? Evil Knievel, that's what that is yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and let you kind of explain it. I'm gonna chime in, but yeah, yeah totally changing my way on this yeah. one. Yeah, so um, like you were saying, but let's, uh, I guess we'll get into the relationship of the board game to the movie. Yes. Um, there's parts where the alien ships jump around, like from like, like, I guess you could say point to point. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you see the movie. And that's directly almost relation to the, the board game, this, that way of moving around. You know, because you're, like, you're, you're stuck in these little peg holes and you have to move around. Mm -hmm. And then the aliens themselves, they fire off these, like, these little, like, I guess multi-burst little shots or something like that. They're kind of half missile, half torpedo that right. like anchor themselves on the thing. Right. But, but they look just like the little red pegs in the board game that you use yeah. whenever you got the little, hit. Yeah, the little artillery Like fire. you hit my battleship, you know, they'd exactly. be little things, yeah. And they'd stick there and then they explode. And so they, they kind of make it, it. It was great too, it was about, some, about those things. It's like sometimes in the very beginning, one would hit and it wouldn't destroy the ship. Yeah, it, it would just, just damage it, just like in the board game. But then sometimes if you get three or more, just yeah. like in the board game, it would sink the ship. Yeah, they they it put was a lot. It was a very lot. Yeah, a lot of little 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 nuances like that. They were just I thought added to it. I was like, yeah. I was looking. I was like, oh my, yeah. you know, like. And I mean, a lot of this is borrowed material. Well, I yeah. will say that. Like, I mean, like the whole race to the extinction thing yeah. is very Independence Day. Yeah. I mean, the the ships themselves are evocative of Transformers. Right. Uh, the the industrial music kind of reminded me of like the soundtrack to the Avengers, like right. when we watched that trailer, the Yeah, yeah. And the well, constant you know, slow-mo, yeah. that was one of the drawbacks for me is some of the, like there's this, the sequence that you see in the trailer, which is, I'm assuming running right now next to me, where he goes up and he activates the ship right. and like, you know, you see the water dripping on his face. It's like 10 minutes of slow motion. Yeah. And it's just it's it's too much. Yeah. And so it's already a two hour two plus hour movie. Yeah. And I mean, a couple of the problems I had with the movie, like, you know, Hooper gets command of the ship and what's he do? Taylor Kitsch character. Yeah. The f what's the first thing he does? He goes and does like a mano a mano with the alien for 20 right. minutes in the holds. I'm like, dude, your ship's on fire. Maybe the captain should be handling that. I'm just throwing that down. Yeah, there. not some lieutenant who's like a little punk. Yeah, and it's just know? so. That got his head, hair, hair cut. Yeah, you know? so I mean, <laughs> it's it, it, the whole thing was just like, you have problems with that. Rihanna, sweetheart, I love you. You like, you know, uh, I, I don't want to ruin our possible future relationship. But you were terrible in this. I, I, you could not act your way out of a paper bag, and all you had to do was sit there and look good, and you, you messed that up. I'm sorry. That was well, the only reason I didn't give it flat out green, because Rihanna and John Carter. <laughs> Taylor Kitsch is what he means. <laughs> uh, and but Liam Neeson, he, I thought it was going to be more in the film. He's in there for like maybe 20 minutes of the whole film, if that much. And every the whole time he's in there, he's just chewing that scenery, just chewing. He, like he's just acting out out of there, like out of the wall. Acting. I yeah. heard William Shatner consulted on set. Yeah, <laughs> but but it was nice to see Liam Neeson. Which I actually movie. would have liked to see some Shatner moments yeah. in there because you know what? A lot of this, like here's the thing: that when you, whenever you bring in Navy type stuff, mm -hmm. you have a lot of command center type things, and yeah. it's almost kind of like being in space. So I would have almost liked to see some more Star Trek type, you know, tete a tete almost, like yeah. where they're trying to figure out you're dealing with an unknown alien force. Right. I would have liked to see some more hand wringing, you know, like yeah. as they try to figure this out. Everything just seemed too easy. I did like I did like the aliens themselves. I was being talking myself out of my rating at this yeah. point. <laughs> I did like the aliens themselves. They're they're the bipedal type aliens, you know, they're in a mechanized suit. Yeah, very well, halo. Very halo. Very that was, halo. That was I, another thing I was gonna mention. But I liked it though. I like that they didn't go for this weird like green monster kind of thing. They yeah. it was like 
It like almost that, looked like just Atlanteans. Like yeah, you look like yeah. yeah, it looked like an Atlantis creature. Yeah, it would remind me very much. It was like th- th- in the, in the movie, they're like a very they're s- they're very similar to our shade of like a pigment, but if you, they look just like the Abian Sir character from Hellboy, but yeah, not, instead of blue, they were they were yeah like pink. Yeah, yeah, they were pasty. Yeah, but um and had these weird goatees. So <laughs> final final review. What do you say? I gave it a um, yellow sh- wait for DVD. I'm going to matinee yellow green. I'm bumping we're up. We're in one. agreement. Yeah. Heat, of course, changed greatly. Yeah, so yeah, go we, see we this. Went, we went through the Evil Queen. Yeah, yeah, so go yeah. see this. Matt, go see a matinee. You know, go spend like $5 yeah. or so. No, and, and go and enjoy. And it, it, I will say this. Yeah. It's not going to win any Oscars, but it's a theater-going experience. Like yeah. I said, the audience was completely engaged when I saw yeah. it. I've been, I, I can't recommend this enough if you're just out and want to have a good time at the cinema. Yeah. Go ahead and see Battleship. Yeah. So with that, we'll be right back. Yeah.